Yo, what is going on, everyone? My name is Nick or the Notorious Fantasy, and in today's video, I'm going to be explaining to you guys how to play the NFL Playoff Challenge for fantasy football in 2020. Now, if you guys would like to join my group after you enjoy this video, you're like, you know what, this is a great job, and you want to compete against me, you can join my group that I've already set up under the groups. Last year, we had 18 members play. This year, I think we could be much bigger. Five people have already signed up yet again make sure you join the group it's just notorious space fantasy very easy to find you just search it in right there and you can play against me and if you end up winning i will put your name in the description of all my videos and i will also go ahead and shout you out in a bunch of videos throughout the off season so you might be wondering nick how do i play this that's why i clicked on the video so it is very very simple the nfl playoff challenge is pretty much just putting the best guys in your lineup that you think will be in the playoffs for the longest. Now, you might be wondering, Nick, why would I want to put a player like Patrick Mahomes, like Aaron Rodgers in my quarterback slot, who is going to be missing the first game, obviously, due to the fact that they have a bye week. Now, it's very simple. It's because of the bonus multipliers that are put into this game. You earn a bonus multiplier for every week of players in your starting lineup. So you play Aaron Rodgers week one, obviously he scores zero points because he's not playing anyone. But week two, say he tears a hole in the defense he plays against, he gets double the points. Then the next week, if they advance into the NFC Championship game, three times the amount of points. If he makes it to the Super Bowl, they get four times the amount of points. Now, in the past, I would kind of try to build a lineup around trying to make sure that I had a quarterback... Uh, and a wide receiver from a couple of different teams in each division. Or a quarterback maybe from a team that I think is going to make the Super Bowl, but maybe a wide receiver from a team that I think probably will not end up making it from the same exact conference. In my opinion, now that I have done this a bunch of times, that is stupid. Pretty much what you want to do in order to win this game is pick players from the two teams you think are going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe in the Super Bowl this year. That is the best strategy because it maximizes the potential for you to have four times points in the Super Bowl if what you projected was going to end up happening. Now, if you get it wrong, then you could still go ahead and change your lineup every single week and make sure that you get that lineup all the way to the end and potentially win the contest because it's very hard for someone to pick the two teams that are going to go and end up beyond the Super Bowl, especially on the NFC side. There's so many teams like the Bucks, like the Packers, like the Saints that in my opinion could all end up in the Super Bowl. Now, from the AFC side of it, I really only see two teams potentially taking home the Lombardi Trophy this year, either being the Kansas City Chiefs or the Buffalo Bills. If you guys missed out on my video from yesterday or two days ago, you might want to check it out. It's my playoff prediction video where I discuss who I feel is going to make the Super Bowl this year and my Super Bowl pick. If you don't want it spoiled, obviously pause the video right now and go to that. But if you don't care or you maybe you already watched it, go it is going to be the Buffalo Bills, in my opinion, going up against the Green Bay Packers with the Buffalo Bills taking it home. So I'm going to be picking my NFL Playoff Challenge team based upon my assumption that is going to be the Green Bay Packers versus the Buffalo Bills. Now, maybe... You think it's going to be the Chiefs Bucks, then you pick those players. Maybe you think the Rams are going to make it or something, and you pick based upon that. So don't necessarily just go off of what I say is going to happen. Do what you believe, but I'm going to show you guys how I set my lineup. So again, with the quarterback, we're either going to go with Rodgers or Josh Allen. I, per I personally believe Josh Allen is going to beat the uh, Indianapolis Colts and make his way all the way to the Super Bowl. So I will be selecting Josh Allen since he's playing this week, and I get double points next week all the way until the Super Bowl where I get four times the amount of points for the running back back though this is going to be the biggest issue because I don't really like any of the running backs from the Buffalo Bills so the first running back I will select is Aaron Jones of the Green Bay Packers like I said I believe they're going to play against each other in the Super Bowl and Aaron Jones has been getting tons of usage this year across the fantasy season as you guys know because I'm assuming a majority of you guys watching this video watch my YouTube videos and watch uh, for fantasy football purposes. So Aaron Jones is going to be my first running back to add here. Now the question is, do I want to go with Devin Singletary or do I want to be a little bit more confident and go with a guy like Zach Moss? Now, if you notice, the players that have the most own percentage are the players that people believe or are players on the teams that people believe can make the Super Bowl. Kamara, the most owned running back because he's playing up against the Bears. People think he's going to continue to move on. The Titans, Derrick Henry. Some people think the Titans are going to go to the Super Bowl. CEH is getting picked, even though he hasn't been all that great this season because people believe the Chiefs are going to make the Super Bowl. So I'm going to go ahead and select Devin Singletary here. 
even if I don't love him, I feel as though he's going to make his way to the Super Bowl, so I figured I might as well get him on my team. Next, this is going to be very simple for the wide receivers. I'm going to go with Devontae Adams. Obviously, on a bye, so I'll get no points this week. But again, you guys want to understand that when you get those two times points, three times points, four times points, it's much better because in the third round, if these are the two teams that are playing in the third round, the conference championship games, you're going to have three times the amount of points where some people may have had their players already lose, and they're just starting back at the one times point. So make sure that you guys understand that. Next wide receiver, very easy. We're going to go with Stefan Diggs of the Buffalo Bills, the number one wide receiver and the number one wide receiver of either team. Now, if I'm being honest with you, I would prefer if the NFL playoff challenge included a flex as well. Obviously, it does not, but that could really change the variant of my lineup where I could go with maybe Cole Beasley. Maybe I'm feeling a little bit like uh, a bit a bit crazy. I go with Isaiah McKenzie or maybe I go MVS, Alan Lazard. It would really open up the board in my opinion, but I don't think they would ever end up doing that for the tight end. I'm going to go with the best tight end out of the two, which is Robert Tanyan. Tanyan has been on an unreal season this year, and if I believe they're going to make the Super Bowl, then Tanyan's points will be very, very good there for the kicker I'm gonna go with the kicker who's actually playing this week because Mason Crosby hasn't really been all that good this season and Bass has been really playing strong this season and finally my defense I'm going to go with the no one circles the wagons like the Buffalo Bills defense but I might actually want to go with the Green Bay Packers. This isn't my final lineup because I may adjust the defense, but that's pretty much the gist of it. Again, you want to make sure you pick from two teams that are going to go ahead and you believe make to to the Super Bowl because then your roster will look so much better in the final Super Bowl week where you have four times the points than other guys or maybe just one times or two times or three times the points because their players got out earlier on in the NFL playoffs. Thank you guys all for watching this video. I hope I explained this correctly. Again, please join my group down below, Notorious fantasy on there there's a bunch of players ready in here shout out to beer slayer jb smooth monty wade as well as pats brady six thank you very much for joining i hope a lot of you guys join i will link it in the description as well when i wake up in the morning so thank you guys for uh, watching this video i'd really appreciate it if you guys joined it we're gonna have a great time again if you guys have any questions please make sure to la- or make sure to ask down below i'll answer all the questions and I hope I explained it good enough where there's not going to be any questions. But again, if you guys have any extra questions, please let me know down below. I love you all. Have a great rest of your guys' day. As always, kaboooey!